Hello everybody, welcome to the Tech Supper channel. Now in this video, we are going to look at how to create and sign in to the Oracle Cloud account absolutely free. So guys, before we proceed further, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. So uh, let's understand what is that cloud free trial account means. Oracle Cloud Free Tier allows you to sign up for an Oracle Cloud account, which provides a number of always free services and a free trial. So there are two things. One is always free cloud services. And second is 30 days free trial <clears throat> to use on a eligible Oracle Cloud infrastructure services for up to 30 days. But the always free cloud services. So there are plenty of services which you can use lifetime free without paying. Okay, so the always free cloud services are available for an unlimited period of time. And the free trial services may be used until your $300 of free credits are consumed or the 30 days has expired, whichever comes first. So if you see this is screenshot, there are two things which you will get in your free trial account. One is free cloud services. Free cloud services means there are a bunch of services which you can use lifetime free without paying a single dollar, single rupee. Like two autonomous databases with powerful tools like Oracle Apex, Cloud, Oracle Cloud SQL Developer, <clears throat> two AMD compute virtual machines, up to four instances of ARM pair A1 compute, block volume, object storage, archive storage, load balancer service, data egress monitoring, notification, and there are other services which you can use lifetime free. The second is 30 day free trials. You will be credited with $300 in your account, which you can use for 30 days. So in that 30 days or $300, you can access a wide range of Oracle cloud services for 30 days, including your database, analytics, compute, container engine, for Kubernetes, and many more. So let's look at how to create a free trial account and how to sign in. Before we create, we should look at what are the prerequisites to create an account. You must have a valid email address, which you have not used earlier to create an account. You should have a mobile number to receive a X SMS text verification, and you need a credit card. Why you need a credit card? You need to enter your credit card details just for the verification purpose. Oracle will hold a nominal charge like $1 or like 70 rupees for a verification and the amount will be reversed immediately as soon as your verification is completed, right? And you will not be charged even after 30 days till the time you upgrade your account to the paid account manually. So you don't need to scare about your credit card uh, charges like after 30 days, will Oracle charge something? No, Oracle will not charge anything till the time you manually upgrade your account to the paid account. Now, let's get started and see how we can create a Oracle Cloud account absolutely free, right? Okay. Now, so to create an account, you must have a browser, you must have an internet connection as well. Obviously, you need a valid email address, mobile number, and then credit card details. So here, you need to go to this oracle.com. And from here, you simply click on this view accounts and click on this button under cloud account called sign up for free cloud tier. Click on this button. Once you click on this button, you will see this page, another page, wherein you can see two other buttons, start for free or sign in to Oracle Cloud. So before I click on a start for free, I wanted to show you some other thing, like what's included with Oracle Cloud free tier. 
वन इज कॉल्ड ऑरिकल प्री क्लाउड सर्विस वॉज मैंशनिंग ड्यूरिंग माई प्रेजेंटेशन यू विल गेट टू सर्विस वन इज ऑलवेज फ्री सर्विस सेकेंड इज थर्टी डेज free trial which means two cloud offers in a single account okay services you can use for an unlimited time and us dollar 300 in pre credit so you can use these 300 dollars to activate all those services for 30 days but in the free you can use all those services absolutely free so what will happen after 30 days your account will not be deactivated your account will remain as is, as is but whatever services you have created in within the 30 days they will be terminated automatically after 30 days but you can still use those services absolutely free after 30 days even okay so so here you see what are the always free cloud services so here is the list of services which you can use always free okay what you can try with my cloud oracle cloud free trial credit so these are the services which you can try with your free credit fine now come up and click on this start for free button click here once you click you will see this oracle cloud free trial sign up page sign up dot cloud dot oracle dot com you can simply use this link to directly come on this page so here you can enter your country let's say it's my india you can enter okay if you see another country maybe that information will change okay but let me choose india and let me enter my name let's say ankur and let's say and then you need to enter your email address a unique email address which you have not used earlier and then click on this i am a human checkbox so uh click containing a bot this guy this guy this guy okay next and this guy this guy this guy fine right and now you need to click on verify my email once you click on verify my email you will get a verification email on this particular email id click on verify my email okay it will verify that email exist or not already and you will see email verification link sent let me just open my email and will show you here you see i have received this verify your email to create your cloud account now you need to click on verify email button and you will see another tab will be open you can simply close the previous tab right and you see the information which you have entered earlier will be repopulated now let me enter my password here and then confirm password company name is optional cloud account name is the unique account name which will be assigned to you based on the email but if you want to change that account name you can change it this account name you need to remember or this also will be sent in your email email once the account completion is done this is the unique account name which will be assigned to you upon successful creation of this cloud account and you need that cloud account name whenever you need to sign in so please keep it handy whenever you need to log in into your cloud account okay so that is called sometimes it is called tenancy name what is your tenancy unique id tenancy name or the cloud account name you can call anything home reason this is important so home reason is nothing it's like a data center in which you want to provision your services like which home reason you wanted you wanted to have to create your services i mean resources or the workload but it's not like whenever you once you choose your home reason you can not use another reasons to create your other workloads you but, but this is your home reason right no home reason, reason is nothing it's like your data center wherein you want to provision your resources but later you can subscribe to other reasons and 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 provision your resources there okay let me use the us east so we if you wanted to see the complete list of reason you can simply click here you see in the north america we have canada uh toronto 
US East, Ashburn, Phoenix, and San Jose in the Europe. We have uh, France, South, Germany, Israel, Italy, Netherlands, South Arabia, South Africa. So in total, we have 37 live data center as of now. Okay, but let me say US. But okay, we have two data center in India as well. One is in Hyderabad and second is called in Mumbai, right? So if you want to have your India data center, you can choose, let's say Hyderabad and then you're going to continue. Once you continue, you need to enter your address details. I'm just skipping everything. Let me put something mandatory here. Let's say Delhi. Delhi. Okay, now I need to enter my mobile number. And then click on a continue, right? And once you click on a continue, you need to click on a add payment verification method. And here you will see another pop-up and click on a credit card. So the credit card which you are entering, it should be enabled for the international transaction. Okay, so you see the billing information will be populated automatically and you will see the payment details. Like you can choose your credit card type, like it's either Visa, MasterCard or Amex and you can enter your card number, expiration month, expiration year and CF. VM. And once it is done, you need to click on a finish. So once you click on a finish, Oracle will verify your details. And if the verification is successfully completed, you will see a small um, hold of a small amount on your credit card, which will be reversed automatically. Okay. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing so, but I'm closing this. And once done, you need to click on this agreement and start my pre trial and your account will be provisioned. And then this is your cloud account name. This is your username and then password, which you have entered. And all these details will be sent on your email address also, right? So this is the way to create a Oracle cloud account, right? Now let's move on a, another demo, how to sign in to the cloud account. So I already have one account and let me just log in. So you need to click here. You need to enter cloud.oracle.com and here you need to enter your cloud account name. What is that cloud account name? This is the cloud account name, which you need to enter. So I already have one. And then click on the next button. Once you click on the next button, oh, my bad. So this is my cloud account name. I have entered the username there, my bad. So once your cloud account name is verified, you need to click on a continue. And then you will see the username and then password input box, wherein you need to enter your username and then the password. Super twenty eight at gmail.com. Oh, just a minute. Okay, the problem was with my this. This was not the one. The one was like tax super cloud. Okay, that was my cloud account name. Okay, and now that's about twenty eight at gmail dot com and then sign in. Right now, here you see when you log in, you see the reason AP Hyderabad. So when I created and when I created that account, I took the Hyderabad as a home reason, and you see this reason is visible here. So this is your. Oracle cloud account name. So the account has already been expired, but that's fine. So here, if you want to manage other reason, if you want to subscribe for another reasons, you can click on the manage reasons and you see the list of reasons are available here. Since the account has been expired, that's the reason the subscribe button is not enabled, but make a note like for a free cloud account, you cannot subscribe for another reason. So you only have 
one reason to use in your free cloud account. But if you convert your account into the paid account, then only you will be able to subscribe for another account. Another reason. Now, if you click here, you will see the, the email ID of the logged in user, my profile button, tag tenancy name, the service user console, console setting, sign out. We have various services which you can use for, for uh, to provision our Oracle Cloud resources, guys. So, uh, Guys, that's all about this and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest. You can always see my blog https colon slash slash Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.